today we will learn about Earth Science 2A. Do you know what it's about? As you can see in the picture, the bears family want to go uh, to some places. Can you see what is that? Yeah! It's the cave! What do you think the bear family will find in the cave? Will it be a cute animal? Or will it be a scary animal? Or will it be a monster inside? Do you want to find out? Let's see what's inside. Oh! So the bears are about to enter the cave. But the Papa Bear tell us a new word. Do you know what that is? It's the Spelunker. Spelunker. What is that? The families are in the cave. Do you know what they are holding on? Flashlight. Why do you think they need the flashlight? Hmm, I think it's darker there, and it's damp also. Let's see what's inside. What can we see? Hmm, what's now? It looks like there are sharp rocks on the top and at the down. Let's ask the papa bear, what is that? Oh, oh okay, thank you. Papa Bear told me that this rock on the top and sharp, we call that stalactite. Stalactite. While the other one here, on the floor of the cave, we can call that stalagmite. Stalagmite. But why are those rocks look different than the other one? Let us ask Papa Bear again. something amazing happened in the cave. You know that mountain, some mountains have love caves, some are not. And since these caves are below the earth or below the surface, so there are so many minerals like gather inside. And that that mineral drip, like you know rain, Rain drops, they drip, and then become hardened like rocks. But it happened a long time ago. It didn't happen just like an instant. So it's that drop and drop and drop and drop and drop, and it's hardened like a rock. And some of it also. So once it's dropped there, once it's Rice and rice and rice and rice and rice. Ooh, that's a cute animal. Looks like a lizard for me, but is the lizard is the lizard, lizard? Let's ask Papa Bear again. Hmm, interesting. It's not a lizard. The name of this animal is actually salamander. Salamander. As you can see here, the color is all white. Why? Do you know why? The color is white because this salamander has no pigment. Pigment. Or the color of the skin. Since it has no pigment, it looks white. Not actually white, it's transparent. So you can see the tummy, what's inside the tummy, you can see the heart, you can see the lung. So you can see inside. Like when we want to see something through the plastic. That's what salamander is. And salamanders has no eyes. Why? Since they never, never, ever leave the cave. 
So they never use I. And you don't have us. So, but how come an animal with eyes can see in the cave? Or can walk? You can find this in your internet or you can ask your parents about the salamander. Oh, we are out of the cave. Now, we are going to make a mountain. Mountain will be like this. Some is full blue and some is white covered with snow. Or like this, covered by a cloud. And some like green, covered with trees. So, what kind of mountain will you make? Oh! And this is the mountain that we are going to make. Can you find this paper? To make it easier, I'm going to mark these small lines. I want to cross. And here. See, you have you will have four crosses. One here, second is here, third in there, and four in there. Around the square. After that, you can choose. You want to tape or you can glue the crosses. For me, I will choose the glue. Now, I put the glue already here on all the crosses, and then you can start with. The one near the, the triangle. Can you find it? Okay, let's put this behind another one. do you want your mountain be? You can choose the blue mountain here, or the snow, the snow one, or the snow one, or this above the clouds, or the one with the thick forest. You don't have any... If me, I'm going to cover all these pyramids or the mountain with the glue. So you can glue one part and then you can grab yourself a bit of the cotton here and then cover it all Mountains and caves are mostly rocks, but how come those rocks make that such big and long mountain and caves? Do you think people like us help them to make mountain? Actually, it happened when the rocks erode. Erode means when the rocks was washed by water or the wind blows through the rocks, the wood, some part of the rocks cracked and smashed a bit. 
it will make the shape and the size of the rocks change. First, we need a bowl of sand. If you don't have it at home, you can use a bowl of soil. Also, you need a bowl of water. You need to pour the sand. You can see the difference, right? It was this tall, really high, and then when I pour the water, the sand goes down. And we pour the soil. The next one, the same thing, we pour the water. Let's see what happened here. Actually, the, the erosion takes a long, long time. I just show you the simple experiment so you can see how the erosion works. Do you see the hole here? It happened because the water pushed through the soil and it makes the hole. I want you to try this at home and then send me your videos on 